Hey guys, Zoid here, back again with episode 41 of my Hardcore Let's Play, and I have just had an energy drink, and I am ready to go. Uh, but first of all, this episode, I want to show you the design that I came up with for my sheep farm. Uh, it's actually pretty awesome. Uh, I'll just swap over to my creative world now. Uh, here. So, um... Yeah, basically this is it. Uh, as you can see, there is eight different pads uh, that just go from the bottom to the top. And um, pretty much I will have sheep in these pads. And uh, down here is the redstone. Uh, and it's pretty simple redstone. There's dispensers with buckets in them here. Uh, if I can click on it. Yeah, there. There's just buckets of water in them. And uh, if you don't know, if you have one of those in there, it will actually... When you power it, it will put the water out, and then when you repower it, it will suck it back in. So basically, here I have a T flip flop uh, with two different signals that will actually go into it. The first one flips it one way, and then the second one is a bit delayed, and it actually flips it back. Uh, so I'll show you how this works. You press it, flips it that way. When this gets to that, it flips it back. And uh, that actually sends one pulse uh, on and off through these things, which actually puts the water out. Um, it works pretty effectively. I am yet to find a way to make all of the wool actually fall out. I've been, like, trying to work or play around with water flow paths and um, ice blocks, but I haven't seemed to find, like, I haven't found anything that works uh, quite well enough yet. Uh, and then you just flick it again, uh, and it will turn all of these pads off. Uh, and they're just powered by redstone torch tower things. Um, but yes, uh, when I can get this to work, it will be pretty awesome. Uh, mainly, like here, I'll just chuck some stuff in this one here. Uh, just let me get some, I'll just chuck some iron blocks in. Um, you'll see when I chuck these in, I'll put them in this one and this one. Okay, yeah, you'll see when I chuck those in, turn it on the water will come down and push all of the blocks over here, but for some reason they don't actually fall off. Like, they land on that platform there, and I mean, that's alright if I was going to make a way to just collect them by, like, walking up here and just collecting them, but uh, I'd prefer if they all, like, met up in one spot. Plus, I'm going to have to have two, either two this tall or four four tall because there's 16 different colors of wool uh, and since there's eight in each stack uh that is 16 so i'd have to have two of them side by side uh it isn't really that difficult to make um like it's pretty simple uh but yeah it will take quite some time when i'm doing it in legit and not in creative and uh this is actually the first time i ever used mc edit uh effectively because I basically made, I think I used, I made two and then I just duplicated it up uh, and worked pretty well. So uh, yeah, we will hop back into my hardcore world. And um, I've got, I want to make a brewing room today because I've got a challenge over there. Where is control? Oh no, I think I deleted Optifine. Um, well yeah, I was recording, uh, I tried to record this video a few times. And for some reason, my... I don't know, it was like glitching out my world really weird. Like every time I stood on a pressure plate, I would see through the like see through the floor and I could see all the like dungeons and stuff and it was really freaking annoying. Um so yes, uh but I will get out I think I'll just make two uh to begin with. That's ten. There we go. And I need some cobble. And then we will make two brewing thingamajigs. There we go. Uh, I don't really know where I want to put these. Uh, I think I might, because I want to kind of build it into here, I think. Uh, so we will check we're using the right pick, and we will dig through here a little bit. Uh, I'm probably going to move this as well. Um, I don't really like it. Uh, I'll actually break it, because uh, it's really quite annoying. Uh, it's, like, in the way a lot. Uh I don't know why I used a bow then, but oh well. Wow, I forgot how much redstone I actually used in this. I'm also going to have to start getting more redstone soon because I am almost out. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, do we have any... No, we don't. Oh. Here we 
go. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll get some clean stone so I can patch that up. There we go. That's probably a lot, but oh well. Uh, we will place it all here. Uh, I will probably just move the door over a little bit. Um, once I make the place uh, for my brewing place, uh, whatever it's called, my brewery. I have I have a really hard time saying that word for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. My lips just don't move the way that I need to make them to so that I can pronounce it. Uh, it's pretty weird, but uh, we'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, I will probably move it. Uh, I'll dig down here two blocks just for the hell of it. Uh, dig over here. Um, also, I have decided that I'm going to be posting daily for the next few days uh, just because uh, I applied for partnership with um, a network and they said that I needed more daily views, uh, which, I mean, I wasn't really getting that many to begin with, so I'm not really too disappointed that I got shut down. Plus, the guy was uh, pretty nice, and he said that if, uh, when I do reach the uh, necessary view count, um, I can just go back, talk to him, and he will uh, actually, well, try and give me partnership or, like, whatever they do. Um... But yeah, that's pretty cool, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting partnership. Uh, I really want to start increasing the quality of uh, my channel. Uh, I've got a guy doing, well, tr uh, not sure if he's going to at the moment still, since partnership is, like, on my mind still, but uh, he said he will make me a new, like, some graphics and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, but... When I can do, like, custom thumbnails and stuff, it will be awesome, and I'll be able to haul the crap out of that. Hopefully make my videos look a lot more, uh, appetizing. Not really, that's not the word at all. But, uh, appealing, that would be a more... Whoa, crap, just kicked my mic stand, sorry about that. Uh, a more appealing word, I guess. Wait, not word. Um, anyway. So we'll run over here, get some wood, because I reckon wood would look cool. And I will also get some nether brick and glowstone I will chuck the glowstone hmm guess I could just chuck it in the corners here also do you guys want shorter videos I mean I know that's kind of a weird question to ask because obviously you guys are going to want longer videos but if I make shorter videos then it's a lot easier on me plus I almost feel as if people don't watch all the way through. Um, I'll actually leave like a quick little question. If you guys are watching still, uh, leave a comment or yeah, like just leave a comment saying yes I'm watching. Uh, cause that's good I guess. Um, cause yeah, I feel as if people only watch for like maybe a few minutes, like maybe two or three minutes, uh, before they click off. Uh, I know I do that on a lot of videos, um, if they're not entertaining enough or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that would be awesome to know. Uh, I don't really know how I want to do this. Uh, I'll probably... I might just leave it like this for now, and then I'll come back, and once I've got a better design, uh, I will... Whoa, just place that there. Uh, once i got a better design, I can improve it. Uh, I will actually get some buckets, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, so we'll get that. Uh, I also might go back to my Blaze spawner off camera and uh, try and get a little bit more um, stuff, like Blaze rods. Uh, where should I put this? I think I'll just chuck it in here. Um... No, that's not going to work. Put it here, I guess. There and there. And then block off the back. I wonder if I could put something over the top of that. I wonder if... Eh, it doesn't really matter. Looks good enough as it is, but yes, these work. And I will need to... I might put, like, 
some cauldrons and chests and stuff in here once I make it all good. Uh, but I also want to start building something a lot more advanced, because uh, at the moment I've just got small little rooms. I want to try and make a big project. Uh, I reckon that would be awesome. But I mean, now that I've got a brewing room, I can technically go and cross off this challenge, although I will be working on it a lot more. Uh, so we'll get... Uh, where is my switches? Here they are. Uh, you know, whatever, 10 will do. And i got to swap to this. Alrighty. So let's go cross off that challenge, and then I might cut and come back when I've got something else to do. Uh, is it this one? Make a brewery. Yes, here it is. There we go. Switch that on, and fill that in. Alrighty, cool. So we are definitely making a lot of progress on the signs. Uh, I don't want to add any more challenges, so for those people that are suggesting challenges, um, just hold off on those for a little bit uh, just because I've got I've still got like like nine or ten more challenges to go um, so yeah I kinda wanna finish up a uh, few of these before uh, I get more I mean some of these won't take me that long like uh, could probably do that one pretty quickly this one will just I don't know if I'm gonna do that one uh, ever really because it will take something like 15,000 mobs to kill uh, or something and that's just a lot but uh, I mean I'll leave it there because it is I did accept it and I might one day just leave my computer on for like three days and just camp my mob spawner uh, that one won't be too hard I've just got to make sure I get uh, enough wool uh, nether wart farm won't be too hard sheep farm I mean I've already got the plans for that uh, I don't really know where I want to build it uh, also I fixed up the like the place where I cut into the mountain here for the redstone to that. Actually, I'll go and fill the hole in it uh, that I left from that because I think I forgot to. Yes, I did. There we go. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, my helmet broke in the last episode. I uh, noticed that just before. So I will get armor and I now have a new helmet. So, oh, I don't know why I'm crafting it at all. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's all I can do at the moment. Uh, I've got to go make a little bit more progress. I might actually uh, figure out a better design for in here, and then I'll come back and show it off in a bit. So, uh, yeah, BRB. Alright, so I'm back, and I have made a few improvements uh, to this room so far. Uh, as you can see, I uh, moved... Uh, well, I put this stuff around here, and I actually added a button that uh, opens and closes this. Uh, it's just a basic T flip-flop. Uh, I've actually just pretty much figured out how to make them, and I've, like, just fallen in love with them. They're so useful, because, like, buttons are just so much simpler than, um, like, levers and stuff. I don't know. I just like them a lot more. But uh, I've decided that I'm going to make uh, cauldrons. I don't actually know what they're for at all, uh, but we will make them anyway, because I guess there's something to do with... Uh, brewing, uh, or whatever, but we will chuck them there, uh, I actually think you can fill them, uh, with buckets, I'm not like 100% sure really at all, but, uh, let's see, yep, there we go, and just, there we go, so yeah, uh, I'm liking it so far, we'll probably do some more little upgrades and stuff, might add a few more of these, um, in the future, I actually need to eat, uh, also, I'm pretty sure my farm is ready to harvest. So we will go do that real quick. Uh, there we go. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the look of it so far. Uh, like I said, I will add more. And I need to find a place where I can add that door to outside. Uh, and also, I want to figure out where I can put um, the big room thing that I want to make because uh, I'm kind of running out of space. I wish that there was a more effective way to utilize these uh, without without having uh, a lot of, like, just a big gaping hole in it. I'd prefer if I could make it a little more concealed. Oh, God damn it! Invent's full. I will chuck away cobble, because I got a lot of it now. 
Um. Uh, yeah, that should do. Uh, actually, oh uh, yeah, I got heaps now. There we go. Click that off, and we'll go replant it. But um, yeah, I'm really, I really like the fact of using redstone to make life a whole lot easier. Even if sometimes it does actually make your life a little bit harder. Like if I just had that uh, door open the whole time, it would probably make it easier because I wouldn't have to wait for the stuff to activate and whatnot. But uh, I know I like the interactiveness, interactivity uh, of redstone. Um. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go to the nether now, um, probably going to do this off camera as well, uh, but I'm going to go farm a few more blaze rods, uh, do I do actually have everything, got a lot of stuff on me, uh, yeah, I'm going to go farm some more blaze rods, uh, and get a bit more nether brick and stuff to do some more decorating, uh, so yeah, I guess I will be our back once I, or be our back, I guess I will be our be once I've done this, so yeah. Okay guys, so uh, I'm at my blaze spawner. Uh, this is kind of the uh, setup I've got going at the moment. Uh, basically they spawn in here and I can just kill them and then they uh, drop their blaze rods and I just jump down and pick them up. Uh, I've actually got uh, one stack of 64 and a few more. Um, I'll probably camp here until I get at least two stacks. Uh, it is pretty effective I guess, um, especially with this sword because as you can see I get I can occasionally get three uh, loots because I got looting too um, doesn't work that often but uh, it is pretty good um, I am starting to work on like a little uh, one that will work at the bottom uh, so I don't have to keep digging down to pick up all the loots uh, shouldn't be too difficult um, but in the long run uh, I do want to make a I want to make one that actually works in my world, because uh, I know that apparently these things will travel through portals or something. Uh, so if I can get that to work, um, I'll have to look up a tutorial, obviously. But uh, if I can get that to work, then I when then I will make uh, one that works like that, and it should be awesome. But um, I'm probably just going to camp here for a little bit uh, until I get enough. Uh, stuff. If I do make much more progress on this, I will come back and show you, but uh, I doubt I will, uh, just because I'm not really here to work on it. I'm here to get the blaze rods. But um, yeah, I will come back when I'm back at my world with all the stuff that I need, and then I will uh, end the episode. Whoa, why are you exploding everywhere? Okay, yeah, I will be up Okay guys, so I'm back, and I thought uh, I would end the episode on a enchantment because I got level 30 just from killing those blazes, uh, and I only needed diamond legs to uh, finish my second set of diamond armor. So we will go and quickly enchant these, and then I will end the episode. Uh, let's see what we can get. Oh, there. Protection 4. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, you can never have enough protection, really. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, I will be going daily, so uh, check back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and so on uh, for a new episode. But um, yes, uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say. So uh, I will leave you on that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!